Okay, so when I came down here, you can see that there's eight pillars off to the right that lead to a huge arch. Those eight pillars were all put out. I searched around here and I collected all eight pillars. Now that they're all lit, there's a boss I can go do, but I avoided it so that way I could show you guys. Yes, I saw that. So congratulations to you, Alice, on getting permanent residence in Canada. She is a full-fledged Canadian now. You did manage to tell me. I think you told me in Mysteries chat. But... I still wanna I still wanna say congratulations in a little more personal way because chat obviously chat's not that personal. Okay, so it said that energy thrummed in this area. I'm just running around real quick making sure there's no corpses for me to loot. Like the little loot goblin I am. As you can see, the body is glowing. I am not nearly as bad as Nurbo, but I am, I am still a loot goblin, loot, as uh, Ellis likes to put it. Nobody's as bad as Nurbo. Oh, hey, look, we're killing the boss, but you know somebody dropped a yellow. Oh, look, it's gone. Nurbo's in that area. <laughs> okay, so we've got a boss here. Uh, they staked us right here. That's a that's a stake America minus arms and head. Let's get that dosh. Okay, that hurt. Two, three, roll. Oh God, I always get hit by that kick. One, two, three. Roll back, roll back. Oh, God, that hurt. Come on. Gotcha, bitch. Ancestral followers ashes. Okay. Not bad. No coming to your maker, please. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay. No problem, Staggy. When you're ready, rejoin. You can rejoin chat. Lurk away. We'll be here. Praise the old deer. Grace. I did it. There should be somewhere around here. I think that's it right there. No? No. What's this? First off, pickle, therefore well done. Where is... Maybe it's out here? There should have been something to teleport me back outside. I think that's it over here. Nope. That is most assuredly not it. Is that it? Yeah. Okay. We're all the way out here in the middle of nowhere. Murdering stuff. You know, the yeesh. Okay, so that takes care of down there we got the we got the kill that was the important part so we're completely done with down sofrio river well for now uh what's this gary's shack with sage gallery which leads to Celia town of sorcery that's the Celia gateway let's see um We made it to the Divine Bridge. This didn't end up helping us. I think I have to approach from here to get into the city. So if that's the case, we need the Outer Wall Battleground, which is where we fought uh, Margit. And he was like, yeah, I see you. Don't think I've forgotten about you, buddy. Yes, far and away larger. To give you an idea, okay, this section, this right here, would be one full souls board. Like going all the way down and doing this, and then coming out over to here, that would be one full souls board right there. But we still have all of this area left to explore. Like this map gets filled out completely. Heal. Okay. He's now got his sword. Heal. Come on. Got him. Yeah, the flask is plus eight, and I've got a lot more charges on it. Um, I did manage to get that done. Uh, 
Oh, that's actual. Okay. That's actual water. That's not what I thought it was. So then what we want is we want to come back to the Divine Bridge. Uh, yes. Six, uh, six healing flasks, two, uh, two cerulean flasks, the mana flasks, and, uh, Oh, that's the wrong one. Yeah, it was like two mana flasks, six healing flasks, and it was only at plus seven. Uh, then I reached this area, and it threw seeds at me. Like, I got like 12 seeds in this area. And I was like, well, okay then. If you want to give me stuff, I'm not going to... I'm not going to deny that. Who am I to deny such things? That's the target. I think this is an earth tree. This is an earth tree, isn't it? It's not. Golden Order Seal. Okay. Not quite what I was hoping for, but I'll take it. Okay. Yeah, but now... I have nine normal flasks and then three cerulean flasks, so I have 12 flasks total. And then uh, I'm at a plus eight, so. Yeah, we've, we've had some growth. This is the ravine. I just need to get down there. Okay. We're making a quick detour here. As you can see, more and more things are... Um, more and more things are uh, starting to uh, load in with every playthrough. So I think it's a problem that every time they patch, it's steadily fixing. Because I just basically patch my game and then I repair it. And then it seems to keep fixing files. So with luck, everything will be... That's a stake. Why do we have a stake down here? Oh, I know why. Because there's a giant crab here, isn't there? Yeah, right? So the reason we are here is I'm just getting a bell and then I'm leaving. But we are going to keep this tunnel in mind for after we do the capital. Uh, 
Uh, the bells basically are our way of expanding the inventory of our merchant. So basically, uh, every time I take a bell back to back to the merchants here, the merchants at the round table hold, uh, it expands what they can sell. So it's actually very desirable. This one in particular is of importance because uh, it gets us smithing stones three and four. So because it gets us smithing stones 3 and 4, that means we can upgrade all weapons up to plus 12. Well, not the somber ones. Yeah, so I have 1, 2, 3, and 4, and it takes 12. Yeah. Um, so there's two types of weapons in the game. One is considered exotic weapons. Exotic weapons take the somber smithing stones and it's a one for one. So you need one of each level all the way up to 10 in order to max them out. Then there's the normal weapons. The normal weapons take your normal smithing stones and they go up to plus 25. So for those, um... You can you can buy from the shop up to plus eight, and then you can find the ancient dragon smithing stones, which take you the last point for twenty four. So let's take a look and see if I've picked up stuff. Can I strengthen sword of night and flame? I need a smithing seven. Okay, somber seven. Uh, finger seal. I need six. So, see, this is where that comes into play. I need six threes and then twelve fours to keep capping that out. No, that was the right place, I think. Nope, that's the fingers. I wanted the next one, this one. Nope, that's Huig. So I go left. Skip you. And go to you. So I should have gone right. Okay. I'll get used to the round table hold eventually. And how many fours? I have 20 fours. So as you can see, I have 20 somber smithing stone fours. Or smithing stone fours. But I have no threes. Yeah, in, uh, in previous Souls games, they capped out at plus 10. And there was a weird system for going above plus 10 in Dark Souls 1, but not a lot of people like to do it, so plus 10 usually was your cap. See, now this is a plus 17, it's going to scale my spells a lot stronger now. My, my spells are going to scale well. Yeah. This is, why, this is why those stones matter. And then when I do this, it boosts the guard, which is uh, how much it's able to take before... Uh, like, what the guard boost does is it slows down how long before I get guard broken. Like, it reduces the amount of stamina it takes to guard attacks. So by upping my thing here, what is it? Okay, so what is my shield? My shield is a plus six. 
So we're starting with threes. We have no threes. I need 12 threes. And then for fours, I need four. Yeah. This is a part of the game that I have been neglecting, so. I helped somebody last night with getting all this stuff, so that's how I knew exactly where it was and all of that. So now I have a plus 13 brass shield. It has a guard boost of 62. Not necessarily because my main weapon is still that, but my spells are going to have more impact. Like they're going to heal more, they're going to do more damage and all of that. Also, when I have them out, um, if you notice, the um, physical damage negation, like the guard, when I guard with them, the damage negation went up as well. Guard boost in it, but the damage went up. Now the shield is a plus 13, and it's doing really well. All right, now we should be ready to take on the world. But we're trying to take on Lenuria right now. Okay, I still don't have mine to splody. That's for Renala. That's Master Yiji. Golden lineage ever. Oh, I know what that one is. Okay, um, that was a teleport that took us over to- <laughs> No, that's a lot of damage! <laughs> you got me. You got me. Oh, the cuckoo's ever gone. The cuckoo's ever jail. I can go there. And we can do that one. I admitted it. I didn't try and hide it. You got me good. I will not deny a good one. And that was a good one. Okay, so this is a jail. Jails are like mini bosses that you do get rewards for completing. So we're going to complete this one real quick. Sir. Sir. Oh, cuckoo means crazy in English. Does it mean something else in uh, Polish or something? Oh, no. No. Uh, cuckoo. Cuckoo means, uh, usually means, like, crazy. Like, cuckoo, cuckoo. Usually in relation to the cuckoo clock. The idea you got nothing upstairs in your head but a, but a bird. You're bird-brained.
just in case. Okay, come on. Hit you. Got it. T two times. The Great Blade Phalanx. So that got me a spell. Can't really use spells, but that's okay. Game of moments. Okay, and then there should be something around here. You know what? I bet you that's what I'm looking for. Oh, I recognize that. No, we aren't playing these games. Um, I don't know. They're like these weird worm things that are always around the jails. Like, if you see those, it's usually a sign that you're near a jail. Oh, I did all those upgrades, right. You know, that looks like the four belfries, now that I think about it. Jellyfish. God damn it. I died. I had them all settled and then I didn't realize there was another knight in the area. 
I also didn't realize I was getting peppered by spells. And that's the apparent way out. Okay. Like I said, it's starting to get better, but it's not entirely fixed, so. That is the thing. But yeah, those worms aren't even particularly hard to kill. They don't give many runes. They're just kind of there. Okay, we touched grass. Yeah. Yes, definitely. At least we got Igors. They are taking exception to this. We're running. We got what we wanted out of it. Dude right here. Him, Cuckoo Glintstones. Up there, I see you. Oh, there you are. Got you. All right. Oh, I should definitely do that. And that. A rune arc came bad. in there. Didn't expect dog. Okay. Oh, come on. Ah. He dropped something. Yeah, that's what I thought.
Canling Flail, Sanctuary Stone. What's with this flag? Interesting. There he is. This is who I was trying to deal with silently the other day. Okay, we got it all. So now we're going to go back up and around and we're going to get those two chests. Smithing stone fours. Albanoric blood clots. Anything else I might be missing? No, we're good. This is the road that's supposed to take me up. Does this take me up to the four belfries? Yes. Okay. Okay, that's an imbued sword key. Now, there has to be a grace up here somewhere. There has to be some grace nearby. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. Okay, so we have an imbued sword key. These three uh, other belfries. So each of these is a belfry. The first belfry gives you your first imbued sword key. And then the you use those imbued sword keys at any of these belfries to get the job done. Basically, there's special imbued gargoyles that you use. These are. This is one of them. If I'm right, this is the one I want. And then it turns on the portal that you can use to travel somewhere else. There are two more hidden throughout the game that you have to find, and then you can bring them back here and they'll take you to other places. So this is one of the ones that I'm looking for. If I'm right, this should take us back to 
Oh. Oh my. This was not what I had in mind. This is definitely not what I had in mind. Interesting. Behind. Ah. Yeah, I tried that. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. I think that's it. Yes. He's just getting smote. That's all. And that's what I get for not having my shield out. <laughs> That's what I get for not having my shield out. Hello there, General Kenobi. And then he smote me. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back. We're going to get our stuff and hopefully it's going to be high up. And then we're going to teleport back here. I did perform a hello there. Okay. Well then. There we go. Please be up here. Nope, they're down there. Where are they? They're right there. Okay, so I do have to fight these two. If that's the case, we're going to Lightning Spear that dude because he's the softer of the two. arranged bozo oh boy oh boy oh boy
Okay, that's that one. Are you kidding me? Well, I don't need to go back for 1200. That's definitely not a thing I need to do. So we're gonna leave the 1200 there because we just lost way more than that, so. <sighs> That's fine. That's fine. I should have sat down and taken stock, but I didn't. Okay, so that takes care of that for now. We have the four belfries, and that's that. So instead we're gonna do... Okay, so that's the foot of the four belfries. If we drive past, that's where the King's Realm Ruins is. There should be something around here-ish. Okay, so we're gonna teleport down to here. Trying to fill in the last of Lenuria. I'm pretty sure I've done everything there is to do in Limpengrave, but I know that I'm missing at least one jail in Lenuria. Or Leernia. Just gonna go ahead of these guys here. Oh, hey, look, it's a knight. Bye, knight. Yeah, but it didn't repeat itself, which mean makes me a little less concerned. No, not down here. There is a washing machine, though. So it could have been that. Could have easily been that. Okay, there's a grace there. So I have a grace here. There's the three sisters. Reach out and touch grass. Lay down. What's this one say? Usually that's a clue. Northern Lemuria Lakeshore. Not much of a clue. Okay. And that leads us to the King's Realm Ruins. Then that led us around in here. I checked out over here. There's not much down here. We got Horfrost Stomp, but that was about it. We did the Rayo Lucaria Crystal Tunnel. Oh, we didn't do that one. 
That's up the Frenzy Flame Village outskirts. Actually, let's do this. Because there is an herb tree there that I haven't done yet. Go lay down. Lay down, Missy. You don't need to you don't need to be all up and at it, okay? Okay. Which it's being a fuss bucket, as usual. And you know what? I think we're finally going to do these things. <laughs> okay. He took exception to that. Took exception to that. Can't really say much about that. You're fine, little one. Just lay down. All right. Let's see. Where's my stick? Put me. Oh, Jiminy Christ. Not where I wanted to be. At all. Why would it do that? Wow. That's not even close to where I want to be. Take exception. Okay, back in. Oh, he's jumping. Time to run. jumping oh never mind he's down we got it so there's these barnacles on the feet that you're supposed to kill like you just knock them off the feet and then you knock enough of them off the feet and it'll lay down for you and then every time you come back here it'll just be laying here How do I get up here, though? Where is the stairs? Each one of these has a set of stairs. You just have to find the stairs, and then you find the mausoleum door, and then you can do this, and hey, look at that. And then you do this, and it doesn't let you duplicate. This one doesn't won't let me duplicate any remembrances. OK. Probably because I've already duplicated all the ones I could. So I'll have to remember this for later. Uh, 
We got another one coming up here. And we're actually going to try and lock this one in as well. Not it. There we go. Now it's kneeling. Nope, it's jumping. Jumping. There we go. Fresh barnacles. Got it, though. So now just to find the stairs. He'll be here forevermore. Stairs should be over here. Yeah, here they are. No runes for doing this. That's the one downside to it. Yeah. I need more remembrances before I can deal with this, but. Uh, basically, it lets me copy my remembrances. Okay, so now if I go this way along the cliffs... the summoning pool. Okay, got rid of him. And that got me my uh, got me most of my charges back on my healing. Okay, time to run in circles. Come 
Come on. Oh, come on. That's bullshit. God damn it. I just needed to get a little more fire on there. We'll take the stake because the stake puts me right there. I just have to kill all the minotaurs and then we're good. second. You need to be idling here. All right. I'll see you when you get back. you you're now dead and we got you now you're dead and I can do this and I got full okay so I don't need help from a summon. I can do this by myself. Well, okay then. That's what I get for being so fucking greedy. That's what I get for being so fucking greedy. This doesn't get the tree's attention. Okay, that didn't get the tree's attention. So now we just sneak along here along the side. Hopefully we still don't have the tree's attention. Okay, here we go.
Got it. Now it's dead. Okay. Magic shrouding, crack tier, light shrouding, holy shrouding. I believe those up your resistances to the relevant things. Now that we've done that. Hiding place. Cute. Okay, so this one's now done. Likely head. we've done all that here. Actually, no. We need to get up in here. There should be a way down here. It's the mausoleum. Oh, that's gold had one. I know that they're only worth 200 a pop, but I grab a bunch of them, and then when it comes time, I pop like 20 of them at once. And I get a whole bunch of runes that way. Waste not, want not. As they say. this one mausoleum compound okay cute that's why they call that's why there's two of them yep that's the entrance I'm pretty sure there's no bodies hiding up on these. Yeah. I don't think there ever is. Alright, there we go. Oh, bear. Been up there to the converted tower. I think there is a tunnel or something. Yeah, there it is. You may not have a head, but that means you're dumb as rocks. Black Knife Catacomb. Beast Eye Quivers. Okay.
So he was keeping him alive. Only need one key. That's going to be a res there. Roast the sacks. Got it. Cool. Got that. There's a necromancer nearby. They aren't dying, dying, so... Yeah, see, there's the difference. I actually was able to kill it that time. Giant crab time. Giant crab time. Got it. And a rune arc. Giant crabs. <sighs> Time for drinks. What? Okay, so I'm missing something here. Okay, the roll did nothing. Okay. Nothing here. need a key or something then. That's what that's telling me. I'm missing the key. There's where Deuter is. Oh, I gotta write those up. That's what that is.
Okay, we got that figured out. Okay, got those. Fire ahead. Okay. That's a way down. We may take that in a little bit. There's a boss fight. Praise the hidden path. Am I... No, I'm not staked. Grave Glove Warp 4. Oh boy. Okay, we got him. Assassin Cerulean Dagger. The black the black knife print. That's important. That's gonna continue somebody's quest line. Okay. Hey Fave, we're doing alright. We're doing a lot better than the last time I streamed. So apparently this one was a false dungeon? Question mark? No, it's not. So I know how to get there. Okay. <laughs> Can I look? No. Number 26. And I have two great bows. So much easier. Okay. I think I know where I need to go for that. And I stupidly reset the whole thing. Okay, do I have holy damage? No, but I can get some. And I know where... Can I get some? I might be able to get some. Okay, so if I go back to round table, I hold. Okay, I gotta backstab and kill this guy again. Uh, 
Okay. Now I can go where I want to go. Round table hold. Oh, you're looking. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm kind of also suffering the same fate here. Okay, so first things first. Wonder if this ash gives me whole, if I got an ash for holy damage. Swarm's blood, great sword. Cold, cold with hoarfrost stomp or chilling mist. Stronger scalings. But it would lower the damage. Makes it do pure f magic damage. Gives it blood loss build up, frost build up, and then gives Horror Frost Stomp while giving frost build up. And making everything scale better while doing pure magic damage. Okay. So I don't have what I need for that. Okay. Huh. Okay, so then what I need is an Ash of War for that. Yeah. All right, we're going to hold off on that stuff because I am coming dangerously close to figuring something out. Um... That's the cuckoo's jail. That looks like there's so much up there, but how do you get up there? Yeah, no, that's nothing. Lumbering Wolf Shack. Sure, the Nomadic Merchant, Stillwater Cave. There's the Church of Aerith. Let's see. There's Jarberg. We'll do this. Okay.
let's go check out Jarber here, shall we? Land Squirt Ashes. Always finding random stuff in the most random places. Okay, this will take me to Jarburg. And there should be a Grace over there. Or even right here. be cowed. That's the tower. We go in here. This is the study hall. Okay, so this is the Carrion study hall. I know what that is. He's got nothing. Cool. should be a preceptor for me to kill up here. Hey! God damn tracking! Okay, I literally sat there and zigzagged and the bolt tracked, which means I gotta roll through it, essentially. That's fucking bullshit. Oh well, we'll get it. <laughs> 